And so the government's thrust for rural development is in high gear. And according to George Barcelon, president of the PCCI or Philippine Chamber of Commerce, insurance for agribusiness is key to addressing issues in the farming sector. I caught up with him at the ASEAN Business Advisory Council meeting. Definitely we have a lack of infrastructure. We have a lack of, lack of irrigation. We need uh, post-harvest facilities, farm-to-market uh, roads. Aside from that, uh, we are really encouraging the government to make the post-harvest, the insurance, crop insurance, yes. for it to work. Because if you have that, then I think the bank would be more willing to lend. Without that, sometimes uh, the banks, you know how it is, even yeah. in business, no manufacturing, you have real estate, you know, you have insurance. In the bank, once you have the insurance, they're more comfortable with it. So I would think that this would be addressed. The Land Bank is also poised to undergo a lot of changes under Mr. Buenaventura this year and some of a bigger budget also for loans as their mandate. The uh, financing side of it, we're, we're doing our part also. How? We're, we're having a forum where we're inviting uh, Bankers Association of the Philippines, okay. uh, Land Bank, World Bank, Bank of China to discuss you know, this issue about how to, for them, to extend more loan, more credits to the small and medium. The difficulty with the small ones is compliance. You know, when you ask for financial statements, yeah. assets, nahirapan sila eh. So they go through the informal banking, which is very, rates are usury rate. So hopefully, through the forum, we want to bring to light that uh, there can be other forms of collateral. It doesn't have to be real estate. It can be intellectual. I mean, if they know the business, if they have a certain track record, why not? So we're having that forum. Hopefully, some good results will come out of it. Do you have it. a timeline for that? Well, our forum is, uh, I think, third week of Feb. OK. OK. So uh, and, uh, we are inviting, of course, uh, people in the banking uh, to share with us their input, their concern. Are you talking about cross-investment across borders? Meron din, meron, meron din. Din. But for us, uh, you know, this issue of the pending issue on the comprehensive tax reform, uh, we hope that can be fast track because that one will reduce also our corporate tax and also, in a way, individual tax at a certain level. Yes. That would be more, we would be more attractive for country to invest because we have to seek parity with the other countries. Their, their corporate rates are lower. Of course, other taxes have increased, okay, uh, of which these are being yeah. deliberated. But when I look at the percentage of GDP spent for education, for infrastructure, for uh, social health, we're quite low. Compared to our ASEAN neighbors. Yeah. Who do you think so we have out to of, up yeah, among tax. our, among, in the ASEAN, who should we emulate? I would think, uh, of course, Thailand and Malaysia, no? Yeah. But Vietnam, Cambodia, they're fast catching up. No? They're doing their homework. So if it is one thing that's really holding us back to move us forward, what would it be? The one thing that I would think is following the uh, reduction of bureaucracy in the government and compliance. That would be a big help, especially for the SMEs. They cannot deal with so many new rules, this and that. So that's what we hope. Of course, we have a we have a list of items that we would like. Yeah, of course. Or, mm -hmm. But that that would be that's one. one thing. And, and because I would like to think that if that were to happen, it shows that partner tayo lahat, kasama ng gobyerno, the private sector.